All right, so the story for the new DLC for Sleeping Dogs follows, of course, Wei Shen once again. And in the beginning, he is on a date with his on and off again girlfriend, not Ping. There, he just came back from a movie. They didn't really like it. They're not having the best date. But then, boom, an evil spirit called Big Scar Wu comes up, takes not Ping away from him. And, of course, Wei Shen's like, hey, give that back. That's mine. He gives chase after this demon. And, of course, he doesn't catch him. And then he realizes, man, these are all these demons popping up. People are turning into demons trying to attack me I have to go find a way to be able to fight these demons and get my girlfriend back and of course change everybody else around me back into humans so that's really the story it just takes a much more lighter light-hearted approach it's very funny very strange at times like random things will happen like cars will explode for no reason people will be talking and you know they'll be saying their normal things but they'll be talking in a demonic voice which I thought was funny and just very strange and very humorous dialogue for a game that's you know story is about an hour and a half long it's actually a lot of fun nothing amazing not even canon obviously but you know a lot of fun nonetheless so yeah i actually really enjoyed the story now let's talk about the sound which remains mostly the same i mean all the sound effects sound really good especially when you're punching all these demons and kick them in the face and you hear their bones like break and stuff it's awesome the sound design itself is great the soundtrack is still really good even though it adds a little bit more of a horror theme to it this time which is good it makes the DLC sound a little bit more moody, and it does help a lot. And of course, the voice acting here is phenomenal, again, once again, because you got the guy who voices Wei Shen, can't remember his name right now, but I love that guy, and he's here once again. You have a bunch of other characters that come back into this game, dead or alive, and they voice their characters again, and hey, voice acting's great, the sound itself is great, I love the sound. So yeah, there you go, the sound is fantastic once again. So now let us talk about the graphics, which just like the sound, it remains mostly the same. I mean, you still have that great look of the neon Hong Kong style to the environment. You got all the character models that are great, the animations, the effects, everything is still spot on. But what they do add is that they add a moody style to the environment by making it dark and a little foggy too, just to give, give it that little horror theme. Of course, they also add a couple of new character models, like uh, the Chinese version of a zombie, and they have this big skeleton dude that you have to fight for the most part they do look really good they do get a little repetitious because you fight them over and over again but for the most part they do look good so overall I think the graphics here add a little bit to sleeping dogs not a whole lot but add a little bit and it looks good so overall there you go the graphics are good Alright, so the gameplay for the new Sleeping Dogs DLC, just like the sound and the graphics, remain mostly the same from Sleeping Dogs itself. I mean, the melee is still there, and the melee is great, and there is plenty of it in this DLC. Even though the DLC is only about two hours long, there, there is plenty of it, don't get me wrong, there is so much of the melee. And yeah, the melee just makes you feel like a complete badass in this game, and it still does in this, especially when you're actually fighting zombies. And one thing I actually like is that they actually give you a couple of new ways to finish off these zombies. You can throw them into barrels of fire, you can pick up a new magic sword and finish them off that way, you can actually go and use your face meter and actually finish them off by putting a symbol on their face, you know, like a Chinese symbol, and then finishing them off with some like Chinese moves and stuff, and it's pretty badass. Now the rest of the DLC will either have you shoot a couple of things, literally just like a five minute sequence where you shoot a few things and that's it, or you drive to each mission, and that's really it, there's no big thing about it. I mean, there is some uh, additional side content where you can go around and save civilians or finish off other demons and stuff and try to get 100% completely, but that won't take you more than two, maybe three hours to do anyway, so it's not really much content in this DLC, which kind of sucks, but it's also only seven bucks, so if you want something that has just a little bit more sleeping dogs with great humor, because I thought the story here was very funny, um, if you want great humor, some more melee combat, a couple new enemies to fight, then that's what you're going to get from this now if you do not want any of that stuff and you just want you know maybe a lot of more content then yeah go play dawn guard or something because this is not for you so yeah anyway the dlc for sleeping dogs isn't great but it is fun so there you go there's my review i hope you enjoyed it thank you and goodbye